Hey everybody. I just the other day realized that we were past the middle of February and I had not yet ordered my seat. It is not time to panic, however, um, but I just wanted to quickly remind everyone that it is around that time if you want to be starting your uh, plants from seed, now is the time to grow indoors and to get thinking about starting your uh, plants from seed. And so <clears throat> if you've never done this before, I highly recommend it. Every year for the last couple of years, I have been doing more and more seed starting um, for myself. Last year, I started everything but I think onions. That was the only thing I purchased and maybe some basil. And that was because my basil starts uh, weren't successful. So if it is something that you do want to take on, there's a couple of ways you can do it. So all stores are fully stocked for the most part right now with seeds. Um, so those nice little seed racks, those really pretty seed racks you see when you um, go into a store. So that is one awesome way to get your hands on some seeds. Now, if you are um, picky about the seeds that you start, then maybe that's not for you. Uh, I am not, I really don't care kind of where my seeds come from. Um, as far as that's yeah, concerned, yeah. oh, hey, yeah. now, of yeah. course. Hey, no, go on, go on, yeah. Tilly. You might need to pause for a station break here because the dogs need to get their beans out. Hey, hey. Always. <clears throat> okay, so you can get your seeds at uh, a store from the rack. You can get your seeds from a uh, seed source. So um, you can get catalogs. So the two that I have recommended before, I will recommend again. William Dam seeds are where I get a lot of my seeds here in Canada. And I also get seeds from Seed Savers Exchange. This is the old catalog. They used to ship the catalog free. Now, if you want it shipped um, to Canada, it's going to be $16. So for me, just shopping online is just as easy. So I will put the link in the description box below for both of these places, because you can shop online um, for, for the, your seeds. I will tell you though, buyer beware and shopper beware. You clickety click click and it can get away from you. And the next thing you know, you've spent a couple hundred dollars on seeds, which isn't a bad thing. So just, just make sure that it's, it's stuff that you are actually going to grow and that you want to grow. And more importantly, that you are going to eat. Um, so um, as I've said before, uh, this year, we, I'm not gonna grow as much as I have in other years because first of all, we still have a ton of food down on, in the pantry that we have to eat through, so that is fine. The second reason that I'm not going to grow as much is pest management. So last year, we had a wicked infestation of striped cucumber beetle and they devastated or and decimated so many of my cucurbits. So my, we, we struggled with them on all of our squash, all of our cucumbers, all of our melon crops. And so this year I'm not growing anything, um, any of those. Uh, and if there's things that I want, I will just purchase it or things that I need, I will purchase it from the farmer's market. I've just, I, it's a hard no for pumpkin, squash, cucumbers, zucchini, um, uh, melons. So as I sit here looking at my seed collection, I see these melons and they're just calling my name, but I'm not doing it this year. And that's to help draw down the striped cucumber beetle population. Um, that's one really good way for natural pest control is just to, um, just to rotate your crops or to not grow them all together for a year or two. Uh, for me, it's just going to be a year to help drive that population down. If they're not here, if they don't have anything to feed on or their preferred host plants, they will uh, move elsewhere or not complete their life cycle, which is my preferred is what I'm hoping. Um, so I placed my, uh, my seed order uh, at the end of last week, just kind of in the nick of time. Hopefully they're gonna be here in enough time to start. So what I'm thinking, and I'm also not gonna grow in the volume that I've grown in previous years. So I'm going to try and start some new things. Um, so new for me this year uh, will be Brussels sprouts. I, I've heard a lot of people say they didn't have success. So I'm nervous, but you know what? I'm just gonna try it. 
Um, of all the years to try it, probably this will be the one. I usually try things for three years before I say, you know what, forget it, I'm not growing it. So I'm gonna try Brussels sprouts this year. Um, what else? <coughs> Excuse me. What else was I gonna try? Multiple different kinds of lettuce. Um, I had really good success with lettuce last year and the year before and spinach. So I'm gonna try and grow more of that, especially early and then late season. So I'm gonna try and grow better late season uh, this year. And so my other tactic was to grow more flowers. So I'm going to try and incorporate more sunflowers, more zinnias, um, nasturtium those are the ones and marigold this year in the garden so definitely going to have a lot more flowers and then i am going to my seed bank so the reason why i didn't order as many seeds this year and i'll bring you along for the unpacking when these seeds actually arrive was because i still have a ton of seeds left over and seed viability does go down especially if they're not stored properly which i i have to say i don't do the best job at so I don't expect 100% germination, uh, but I know I'm going to have some germination. So I am going to start all my tomato seeds from the tomato seeds that I still have. So I'm just going through here all my, I have two whole um, containers full of tomato seeds. So I'm going to exhaust these. Now I did buy some more tomato seeds because I ran out of the midnight snack and a friend was asking for some seeds. So um, I'm hoping that I can share those with her. Um, but I'm going to grow some kohlrabi again because I really liked it. I might try cabbage, but they also got decimated by earwigs. And I can tell you, my earwig population is going to be uh, happy and healthy. I am going to start some basil because I always like to have some basil in the garden, but no cucumbers. I'm gonna put my tomatoes back in. No cucumbers, not, not a one, no squash, no zucchini. So I'm just looking through. Um, I actually have not had good luck with peppers either. So I have a whole bunch of pepper seeds, but I think I might buy pepper starts this year. I go to the Rose Park Landscaping um, that is close to me and they have really great starts. So I'm gonna get some peppers from them. I am also going to grow, of course, kale. Um, so I'm gonna grow some more kale. Um, I'm just, just looking through here to see what I can tell you that I'm going to grow. Uh, beans. So my friend Melissa gave me some beans uh, this year that I'm really excited to grow. So I'm going to be growing a lot more beans because I do think that they are a very sustainable way to grow your own food. Although it is quite a bit of work to shell them, they're pretty much plant it and leave it till they're ready for harvest. Um, you don't have to fertilize because they fix their own nitrogen. So um, I think I think if you're looking to grow one thing that's easy, start with beans, either um, string beans or um, like dry beans, pod beans. So yeah, I've got a whole bunch of beans that I am going to, to grow. So a lot of easy stuff. I did also order carrots. Um, I've been hit and miss with sowing carrots. Man, two years ago, we reseeded our carrots a thousand times. Uh, but last year they did really well. So I am gonna grow some carrots. I have a ton of different varieties of peas. So um, I like uh, sugar snap peas. So we are going to grow peas, more beans. My favorite is uh, dragon's tongue. If you're looking to start a variety of bean that is just amazing, this is a really good one. I don't know if you can see that dragon's tongue bean and I got that from Seed Savers, but I think you can find them at multiple different, from multiple different sources. Nope, pumpkins and squashes. Brian's very sad because we are not growing a pumpkin. I don't know if I actually told him that yet, but uh, yes, no pumpy this year. Um, so, so yeah, so what is my message? I know it can be hard at this time of year to think about um, growing anything because we still have snow and actually we have a big winter storm forecast for tomorrow. Uh, but it is important to think if you are going to grow from seed to start getting your seed together. So again, um, if you don't buy it from the grocery store from those, um, those racks, then you can order online. Another really cool 
way to get seeds is to trade them or exchange them. So like I said, my friend Melissa gave me seeds. Actually, ah, that's what I wanted to say. Um, our friend, our dear friend, Molly Starr, um, has these beautiful frilly hollyhocks. And if you remember my hollyhock experiment last year, somehow in my mind, I thought that they were going to be really difficult to grow. So I started a whole bunch of them. They all germinated. Um, it's interesting because um, most people think you need light to germinate seeds and that's not the case. But in the case of um, hollyhocks, you do. So the hollyhocks that she and her husband Bill gave us last year, germinated, I planted them and they flowered last year and they were magnificent, but they weren't frilly. So um, she gave me some frilly seeds this year. So we'll see how they do. I'm gonna start those. And I also ordered black hollyhocks. So if you remember last year, if you watched for a while, we reinvigorated our outhouse because I, I never had an outhouse here and I really never, I didn't like coming inside to go to the bathroom. Okay, stop licking, that's nice, but I don't want you to lick me. Um, and so it used to be a sign of where the outhouse was if you planted hollyhocks. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some of these started, the blacks and the frillies to plant around the outhouse. Oh, I'm so excited, that is really gonna look nice. Excuse me, that's my slipper, okay? No, that's my slippy, go get another toy. Heavens, this is what happens when you sit on the floor. Okay, all right. <laughs> Go, go on. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Here, look. Woo. Go get it. Go get it. Go get that toy. Okay. Go on. Oh, go on. I don't want to be licked. I don't want it. I love you. I love you. Okay. Go on. Okay. Go on. Um, okay. <clears throat> so other places. Seeds from friends. And there are these great seed libraries. So some actual libraries have seed libraries where you can procure seed from or get seed from. And then also there are these great um, seed exchanges that happen and there's probably a really good chance that one is happening near you. So so kind of put the, put the uh, call out to see if there are any seed uh, exchanges in your area that you can attend and you can buy seed, you can exchange seed, um, just leave a little donation and get some seed. So those are all the different ways uh, that you can get seed, start uh, growing from seed. And you know what, honestly, this is not for just people who are going to start from seed. It is 100% awesome for you to buy starts. So plants that have already been started, somebody else did all of that work. Um, you know, in May and June in our area. So we are in zone, um, we are in zone 5B. But if you have another, you know, if you have, you know, a grower in your area that you want to um, get from, you can buy those plants already started. You might have to harden them off a little bit and toss them in the ground or in a pot and grow on. Um, I feel like in the last couple of years, this, there's been this real push where um, you know you have to start from seed and you have to do this and you have to do that. And honestly, you don't. You can grow any which way you want. You can buy food from the farmer's market in the summertime or buy food from the grocery store. I just think it's one of those skills um, that uh, has made me feel a little bit more independent about how uh, my food is produced. I'm not, um, you know, I think it got to the point where people were getting, uh, you know, holier than thou about, about starting, you know, your, your uh, pl plants from seed. And for me, it wasn't about that. It was about learning something new, doing something myself. Um, I am not above buying every single one of my starts. Um, and I might, I, you know, you never know. Sometimes if you start from seed and it doesn't work, that's what, that's what you do. So, so I just want to encourage anyone thinking about growing their own food. Um, now is the time if you want to buy seeds, especially if they have to be shipped, to be thinking about that. Um, if, if, you know, last year we improved our grow setup, we got a rack system, we bought lights. Um, our, the room that we grow in is really warm. I actually moved this, this um, clothes dryer and we set our racks up right in front of the window. So, you know, Every year you just try and do it a little bit better and a little bit better. I usually make my paper pots, which I'll probably do again this year. 
um, to, to start some of my seeds, but you can grow in um, bread solo cups with a hole punched in the bottom. So whatever floats your boat or whatever you have on hand that works for you is great. I've seen so many different ways of starting plants and growing things that it really doesn't matter. All that matters is you're having fun, you're doing something new, you're doing something that brings you joy. That is the end game, honestly doing something that brings you joy. So anyways, if you are growing for the 2023 growing season, I wish you all of the best. Happy seed shopping, happy plant shopping. Um, and we'll see you next time around, hopefully maybe starting some seeds. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.